Question 20 is a simultaneous equation question. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label this equation 1, and this is equation 2. Okay, now in order to solve this simultaneous equation, I'm going to have to eliminate the x's or eliminate the y's, and then we can substitute our value from there. In order to eliminate, I need the coefficient, that's the number in front of the letter, to be the same for both equations. So if I make um, the coefficients of the x's the same, I can eliminate the x's, or I can make the coefficients of the y's the same and eliminate the y's. For this question, I'm going to make the coefficient of the y's the same. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to take equation 1, and I'm going to multiply everything in equation 1 by 3, because the lowest common multiple of 3 and 2 is 6. So, we get 3 times 5x is 15x, and 3 times 2y is 6y, and 3 times 11 is 33. Remember, we're multiplying everything by 3. Okay, in equation 2, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. So, take equation 2 and multiply everything by 2. 2 times 4x is 8x. And that's a minus sign. Um, 2 times 3y, 6y. And 2 times 18, 36. Okay, fantastic. Draw a line underneath. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add equation 1 and equation 2. So, 15x plus 8x is 23x. 6y plus minus 6y is 0, so they cancel out, which is exactly what I wanted. They cancel out. And then 33 and 36 is 69. So 23x is 69. And I'm going to divide both sides by 23 to get x. So we get x equals 69 divided by 23 is 3. Fantastic. So now I know what x is, I can solve for y. So I'm going to sub or substitute x equal to 3 into, and I can sub it into either equation. It should work out. Um, I'm going to sub it into equation 1 because I've got no negative sign here. But it doesn't matter, it would work in equation 2 as well. So we get equation 1 again. And I'm going to have 5x, or 5 times 3, plus 2y equals 11. So that's 15 plus 2y equals 11. So multiplying this bracket out, 5 times 3. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 15 off both sides. So we get... 2y equals minus 4, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So dividing both sides by 2, we get y equals minus 2. So now we got a value of x equal to 3, y equals minus 2, and that just should satisfy both equations. In the exam, make sure you check it. I'm not going to do it here, I'm fairly certain it's right, but in the exam, make sure you check it and make sure you get all those marks.